Hey everybody, fun announcement that if you're watching this on Monday, then I'm married, and that's cool. Uh, but, let's look at the do now. So, take your time, read the do now, pause your video now, and do it. Yes, I'm going to check and make sure you did it, so make sure it's in your notebook when I come back tomorrow. Okay, here's what I see. When I'm looking at it, it says corresponding angles. And I know that the lines are parallel, which means these corresponding angles should be equal. So we set 3x minus 10 equal to 12x plus 17. Now we just have to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. I get negative 10 equals 9x plus 17. If you subtract 17 from both sides, you get negative 27 equals 9x and then divide by 9. x equals negative 3. Alright, what we're going to be dealing with today is called the triangle sum theorem. And basically what it says is that the three angles of a triangle, this represented A, B, and C, add up to 180 degrees. No matter what triangle you have, it always adds up to 180 degrees. Now if I were here, I'd show you this video and it was kind of cool. You can like find it on YouTube, I'm sure, because I did. And it started with this triangle here and made two identical copies of it. And then what happened is they moved these triangles so that they like lined up really nicely with this. And what happens is when you get this angle and this angle next to this one, it makes a straight line. And a straight line for these three angles right here, obviously, is 180 degrees. So that's one way to look at it. Let's do a more formal way right now. Okay, this is a basic proof of why the triangle angles add up to 180 degrees. So what you start with, you start with this original triangle here. And then, the guy who, in, uh, the guy who figured this out was clever enough to decide... I can draw a line right here. I can draw a line. And an important thing is I want this line to be parallel to this line right here. You'll see why in just a second. But first, let's look at this question here. It says, what's the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 3? And if you look at this, this makes a straight line right here. So obviously, these three angles add up to 180 degrees. Now the next question is, how does angle 1 relate to angle 4? Well if you think about it, it kinda looks like this, right? You have angle 1 right here, angle 4 right there. Well those are alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles, when the lines are parallel, See, that's why it was important that it's parallel. These angles are congruent. So angle 1 is the same as angle 4. Now, if you look at angle 2 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 5 are also alternate interior angles with parallel lines, which means they're the same. Now, looking down at the last question, I see here that there is a slight type, uh, typographical error there. And that's what happens when you get married. Your brain is just a ball of stress and confusion. But this is going to work out just fine, trust me. So remember how we had angle 4 plus 5 plus 3 equals 180. But up here, we said that angle 1 is the same as angle 4. So we can get rid of angle 4 and just call that angle 1. And right here, we said that angle 2 is the same as angle 5. So right here, what we have is exactly what we're looking for. We have the angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, the three angles of the triangle, add up to 180 degrees. So on your work, Basically, the main thing you need to know is that any triangle, no matter what it looks like, all three angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, good luck.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.